All right, yeah, I was able to clear up nine minutes. That's awesome. So now we have nine minutes to record. All right, cool. So now we can really like talk for a little bit. All right, ten minutes. All right, so boom, it's like this. Okay, so black guy dipping, right? I'm a part of you all's community now. So you know, um, you know, it's like I'm like you know one of the superstars in your community now, like, I'm your superstar, like, hey, Dippers, you have your own fucking superstar, hey, yo, you ever heard of Chad Phillips, yeah, that nigga dip, that nigga don't dip, he was the first dipper on YouTube ever, nigga, you know what I'm saying, and he's a nigga, nigga, you know what I'm saying, I know your white boys be saying, nigga, it's all good, that's what y'all niggas was taught to do, it's all good, we're gonna break through everything, you know what I'm saying, we're gonna discuss racism, we're gonna discuss dropping your fucking vape pen to the public, nigga, we're we're gonna fucking, that's the second time I dropped this one, bro. He's not gonna fuck with me too much longer if I keep doing him like this. Keep the pen where you can see it, man. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, alright, so, you dippers now out there have your own, like, actor. Like, you know, you have your own filmmaker. Like, I get to make, like, black guy dipping films now, you know, so you all have to leave in the comment section how to best represent your tobacco dipping ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, real shit. Like, I'm going to have videos where I dress up like a rebel. Real shit. I'm, like, real shit. I'm going to be dressed down like a motherfucking rebel because I just think it's just going to be hilarious because it's like, you know, I feel like all niggas should dress like rebels. Real shit. You know why? Because we free, nigga. Real shit, right? It's just like, ah, right? But not really because where you go at 7 in the morning, nigga, commit some crime. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or go to work, nigga, and then it's like, eh, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, where you go at 5 p.m., nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like, where you at, nigga? Like, where you at through the day? Out there committing crimes? Or you out there working for another man, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like, real shit, bro. You out there working for another man, Chad. You use a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the world of business. You know what I'm saying? Like, as an actor, I'm the worker for the film. I'm one of the workers. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm the star of the film. I have to go in front of the camera and dance, right? Basically, go in front of the camera and dance. Damn it. All right, what do you want me to do? Go in front of the camera and dance. I don't dance. What James Brown said, um, what did that nigga say? What did he say in the movie? He said this in the movie. He was like, every instrument is a drum. Every instrument's a snare. Snare. Drum. You know what I'm saying? Drum, nigga. Real shit. Every instrument's a drum. You play it like a drum. You real shit. Like, you know, like, that's crazy. You know, because, like, because then you think about Biggie, and Biggie's flow match jazz saxophone type shit. You know what I'm saying? He rap like blues type shit. Like, how blues play, he fucking rap. It just made sense. Like, he just, you know what I'm saying? Like, that. that's what, like, that's what it is about him. You know, that flow, it's just like, it's music notes, damn near. Damn near, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn near. Like, so, with that, he'd be like a scholar for that shit, but it was damn near music notes. You just rap, like, the music notes for jazz. Like, get the jazz music notes. That's Biggie's flow right there, man. He's gonna rap just like that. Yo, if Nick could rap like that, he'd be the best, right? And it's like, oh, wow, this is like Tupac's only competition kind of thing. Like, the only, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, my album been out for two months, five times platinum. His album been out for two years, barely double platinum. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, and that was Tupac's closest competition. It was like half of what Tupac could do, of what he could sell. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it was Biggie's, like, cadence. It was that. It was this magical cadence that competed with Tupac. You know, Biggie wasn't like activist kind of thing. You know, it wasn't Black Panther, but it was the the cadence. You know, he just he was just the arch nemesis. You know what I'm saying? It was just like the Joe Frazier. You know, I saw. You know, the George Foreman. However you want to look at it, just like just the closest thing to him. But anyway, all right, so we're going to give you all a Black Eye Dipping movie, and that would take time, so I definitely want you all to help. And uh, I, I ended off the last video kind of talking about, like, I'm going to do NFT films. Like, all of my films that I'm going to be making for the online streaming distribution, I'm going to make those NFT films as well. I'm going to take the file and make NFTs of them, bro, and then it's like, you know, you can 
real shit. And and you all watching my uh, YouTube and stuff, like you all will, will be the first ones that I um, like tell. You know, like about the, you know, like when the NFT's done, the movie's done. I'm like, yeah, I got the NFTs. Y'all can buy them. Real talk. Cause it's a real movie that's on the streaming service. It really is an investment. Like it's an NFT of a film that's on the streaming service. You can actually go and watch the film and then get the NFT. Own the NFT and like, yo, I own this film in this version. And then eventually I'll make a film that's strictly NFT where it doesn't go on the streaming service and I'll put it on my YouTube. And it's just like on my YouTube and on the, you know, that's the file. You can watch the file on YouTube. And then after that, you just have to get the NFT, you know, and then, um, I, I, I just do a bunch of stuff like that, but it's like, I, I want it, um, ever since I found out about NFTs, I really did want to make my films. NFTs, I was like, alright, that's gonna be the, the, the new way for filmmaking, so it's like, that's what the universe is waiting on, like, that was, like, the technology that the universe is waiting on, um, for me, you know, was, like, crypto to advance at a certain point, the way, like, I could use it for the files, you know, um, so pretty soon after this video is done, we're going to upload it, and we're going to come back, and eventually we're going to start talking about economics. I'm going to hit the vape pen, and uh, we're going to talk about economics and everything. Today's Sunday. The forex market opens up. I'm a currency trader, right? So we're going to be talking about money and economics. I'm going to be breaking down like the code for money and everything. And I'll ask from you um, dip suckers out there, all you dippers out there, is to just like um, be more like united with like just people and not just like your fucking race right so i'm gonna help you as a black man right i'm gonna help you you know solve your money problems and all the asses that you just like have more kindness in your hearts and it's like not even implying that dippers don't but it's just like the stereotype is like the dippers the confederate the rebel the fucking racist whatever you know what i'm saying um it's like i'm willing to put all that stuff aside and for us to like really talk this out, all right? So you come to the table um, without, you know, your inner dickhead, and I'll do the same, you know? And like, we'll work this out. I'm gonna share the universal codes of success, like the fact that I, I got the deal and the acting deal and these deals just keep coming and like, it's my star's turn to shine and um, I'm willing to give the secrets out to how I made that happen, like, like by following, like, the universal rules, like, like, not even I made it happen, it was like, I followed the rules, so it happened, like, I followed the universal rules, like, I followed the rules, bro, you gotta follow the universal rules, so, like, I will break, I have to get shade butter, I will break down, like, the universal rules and everything, but it's like, you have to, Follow the Universal Rules, bro. Star Trek, you see Star Trek? Yeah, Star Trek, you know what I'm saying? I didn't grow up watching the show or anything like that, but the film that came out in like 2010, Into Darkness, that one was, that was like the only one I, I really saw, but that was like my favorite. Like once I saw it, I was like, wow, like, I, uh, I remember that one. It was like, at the beginning, they landed on the planet with the red people <laughs> type shit and they left something and then it just turned into something and they were supposed to use that in sequels i don't know if they used that in sequels but i was supposed to be like a cliffhanger the way like they're like you know you know that was gonna be cool but that was a good one so anyway i'm just kind of waiting for this one to go off in like a minute but um i'm just trying to get back in the groove of this bro it's like what you're seeing now is that you're seeing the transition from me um back then starting off to me popping up 10 years later after just being being gone and it's like yo i've been gone and i've been making all this stuff and now i have this opportunity to actually put it all out and it's like that's what it was it was like this opportunity was always going to come 10 years later was i going to be prepared for it yeah prepared for it even after losing 5,000 gigabytes still have enough to like do what i need to do and, you know just don't have um footage and audio, I still have my writing and stuff, and some audio.